Hey, hey, Crips here, and thanks for joining me as always. Yay. Okay, recently a YouTuber by the name of K Smack Volleyball, or he may be called KS Mac Volleyball, I don't know. Uh, he asked me to help him out putting a, a time and date stamp, and I said, no, leave me alone, stop hassling me. <laughs> no, I said, that's, that's fine, I can do that for you, because this has been requested a few times. So uh, we're going to be using the Boris Graffiti 6.1. So it does not matter what software you're using, it all works the same. Uh, I'm using Corel Video Studio Pro. So let's launch it. So add your filter to your video clip and launch it straight into the advanced mode. Now you may be asking why am I doing so many Boris tutorials lately? And that is because I recently finished a motion graphic visual effects course and they were using the Boris Continuum and Boris Red. And honestly, a lot of that I can put back into graffiti and teach you how graffiti works. And if I pumped out a video every day for a month, you'd still only know 10% of what it can do. That's how awesome this little software is. So let's get moving. Uh, highlight your text track, expand it, and go on to face, which then allows you to give you more tabs. Go to generator, and over here you'll see generator type. So let's say you wanna add the date. All right, let's do that. Expand it, and you'll see here time, uh, date time. That's quite big there, isn't it? So let's go back into our control panel. So go back onto the main track, which was originally your text track, and then just resize that slightly. Okay, there you go. And you can position it wherever you want. Let's put it at the bottom. Hopefully you can see it. I'll just apply it so you can probably see it better then. Yeah, there you go. So it's got Monday, December 9, 2013, and all the time and everything. Now you can have options of what you want to display. So let's go back into custom filter, advanced mode, uh, face, and you'll come up with a whole host of things you want. Just if you do not want, say, the display of the year, just uncheck that and it automatically disappears. And that's how you can do it. You also have the option of changing the font. So to do that, make sure you highlight it actually in your text track. And then that way it'll act as your font. So here we go. You can just change it there. I won't do it because this font is very easy to see. Well, for me it is anyway. Okay, so that is how we add the time and date to our video footage. Have a play here. You can set the start year. You can scramble the letters. You can change the date format. The US does what? Month, year, date, and then year. And the rest of the world does day, month, year. And let's be honest, the rest of the world is doing it correct. Woo. I've just upset a whole bunch of Americans. Anyway. So that's how we can add the date to our video footage. But let's do something different. Um, let's say, for instance, I want to add the time code. So that's cool. Let's add time code. So now what's going to happen is as I move this video footage along, I'll, uh, I'm going to make the, uh, the font slightly bigger because I can hardly see it, right? Okay, let's see. Ooh, that's good. All right, apply. And this will give you the exact length of your video as well. Look, there you go. And that's a pretty cool feature. And you also have the options of how many, on what degree do you want to go to, seconds, minutes, you know, and so forth. And that's cool. And you will notice this is your frame rate. And that's a very neat little feature to use. Let's go back into Customs Filter. And let's do that. What else can we do? Well, we can uh, we can be a spy movie. Let's go back into time code and do random numbers. So what's going to happen here is, as I move this along, uh, let's see, linear, and that should work, I think. No, I've done something wrong. Scramble the letters in linear. And random speed. Here we go. So as I move the timeline along, you can see the numbers are just randomly going all over the place. So that is just the random speed. And that's pretty cool as well. And you can do that also with text. It doesn't have to be just numbers. And again, you can have the number of lines. Here's got 18, there's an awful lot. Uh, no, length and then line count. Let's We can move that right down to one. And as you can see, the numbers are changing as we move along. 
So you could add that into a video for, I don't know, code breaking or something like that. All right, let's do one more thing before I go. Let's delete this track. Oh, I'm gonna show you something really cool. I've been doing this for quite a while and I always meant to share this with you, but I never do. Let's add a filter to this track here. And now you can see I've changed the colors, right? But I wanna keep this footage because I might wanna go back to it. So do I then, what, render this out, save it as a new file? Yeah, that's too much. Just do this. Just pop it up. And look, it's here. If I delete this and highlight this, it's... Uh, let's bring it back. Just make it easy. The filter is still applied. And guess what? The original is still there as well. See? So you can swap in and out. That's kind of cool. And, and later on, I'm going to do something really cool with that. So a little tip for you, a little tip for you if you're using Corel Video. So let's go back. Let's enter the video FX. I probably did that little trick so fast that people have no idea what I just did. I do that sometimes. I must be retarded. Okay. Um, let's say you want to do something different. Let's do the same thing. Face, generator. And I'm going to go to uh, numbers here. I want to go backwards. I want to start at 100 and then go backwards like it's uh, you know a countdown. So how do I do that? Because if I move this... Uh, that's all good and everything, but I want to be precise. So highlight your track, click on this. See how I've just highlighted this blue? And I can make this 100. And then what I do with the interpolation, it has to be linear. It will not work any other way. So now if I move it, you'll see it be counting down. See? And I can count down to, whew, I don't know, one millionth of a second, I believe. It's, it is up to you. So let's resize this slightly so I can see what's going on. I mean, I can be really precise with my timing. So I believe KS or KSmack Volleyball wanted this little feature here. And that is how you can add a time, a date, and whatever else you want to your video footage. And there you go. So I'm going to leave you with that. Look at that. It's like the six million dollar man, isn't it? <gasps> I just revealed my age. Anyway, as always, thanks for joining.